We are living in the last of the last days. And so uh, uh, we've been sharing some principles um, uh, concerning faith and the word of God and the realm of the spirit and uh, this creative realm. So we've been sharing principles. Many of you, if not all of you, have heard about the war that has broken out in the nation of Israel. Now we want to look at the principles that God has been speaking to us. How do they work now with this war? How are we to pray? Without a strategy from God, we will be praying, interceding, warring, and battling out of our flesh. And our prayers will not accomplish anything. So anytime there's something that we don't understand, we wait to get instructions from the Lord. If not, we're going to mess up. And you will cause a backlash. Because you're engaging in something from a perspective that is not God. And I can open up the door for backlashes to take place. My strength, my victory that I experience must be in God and God only. Faith in God. When someone attack you, what is the natural thing to do? to retaliate and that's where people miss God almost everybody if we don't learn this on a self personal self level we will take it to another level and it will escalate so we want to who is considered to, even to today the greatest warrior Israel ever had King David. If this man is considered the greatest warrior Israel ever had from even God's perspective, because it's in the word, let's look at how he handled warfare. Let's look in the word of God and see how he handled when somebody came against him or the nation of Israel when he was king. Or when someone came against him when he was not even king how did he handle it if you and I do not adapt the strategies of God and learn from other men and women of God then we will experience failure every single time are you hearing the Holy Spirit today so we as the church all of us should be praying for the nation of Israel. Now, Hamas attacked the nation of Israel and the, the, um, the souls that has died uh, is increasing every day. Now terrorists has invaded uh, Israel and terrorists has captured many of uh, the Israelites. The prime minister of Iraq just reached out to Russia and asking Russia to get involved. One of the most fascinating things, and I believe it's God, Iraq is being coming to the place of being to be rebuilt because of the war uh, 20 years ago under Saddam Hussein. Now, America and his allies gather together to help combat ISIS. But notice who's benefiting. You never see Russia getting involved in another person's war. You never see China getting involved in another person's war. They benefit, though. America has been like the police of the nations of the earth and out on the sea. It's nothing wrong with that. 
But what's wrong with it is when the nation begin to turn from God. And now what is happening, because what we have done as a nation, and especially upon this president and the last president, not the last president, president before that, Obama and Biden. We have caused God to frown on us. And our defenses is being destroyed. Why? Because of the abomination of the abominable laws that we have established in the against God. God calls those laws that's been accepted an abomination. To watch the rest of this powerful message, download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.